Hello Puppet fans. And welcome to this lecture. In this lecture we will learn the infrastructure as code model and how does Puppet as a tool follow IAC model. The concept of infrastructure as code is similar to programming scripts, which are used to automate IT processes. However, scripts are primarily used to automate a series of static steps that must be repeated numerous times across multiple servers. Infrastructure as code uses higher level or descriptive language to code more versatile and adaptive provisioning and deployment processes. For example, Infrastructure as code capabilities included with Puppet, can install MySQL server, verify that MySQL is running properly, create a user account and password, set up a new database, and remove unneeded databases. The code-based infrastructure automation process closely resembles software design practices in which developers carefully control code versions, test iterations, and limit deployment until the software is approved for production. A developer might write an infrastructure as code process to provision and deploy a new application for quality assurance or experimental deployment before operations takes over for a live deployment and production. With the infrastructure set up written as code, it can go through the same version control, automated testing, and other steps of a continuous integration and continuous delivery C, CD pipeline that developers use for application. Reasons why I should implement IAC Speed and simplicity. IAC allows you to spin up an entire infrastructure architecture by running a script. Configuration consistency. IAC completely standardizes the setup of infrastructure so there is reduced possibility of any errors or deviations. Minimization of risk. Because code can be version controlled, IAC allows every change to your server configuration to be documented, logged, and tracked. And these configurations can be tested, just like code. Increased efficiency in software development. Infrastructure as code allows your company to use continuous integration and continuous deployment techniques while minimizing the introduction of human errors after the development stage. Cost savings. Automating the infrastructure deployment process allows engineers to spend less time performing manual work and more time executing higher value tasks. Infrastructure as code tools configure and automate the provisioning of infrastructure. These tools can automatically execute the deployment of infrastructure, such as servers, with orchestration functionality. They also can configure and monitor previously provisioned systems. Infrastructure as code tools enforce the setup from the template via push or pull methods. In the push method, a centralized server sends the desired configuration to a specific system or systems. The pull method is initiated by a request to a centralized server from a system or systems in the infrastructure. Tools typically are designed by default for push or pull deployment of code, but can be set up for specific instances to do the other. These tools should also be able to roll back changes to the code as in the event of unexpected problems from an update. Examples of infrastructure as code tools include Puppet AWS Cloud Formation Red Hat Ansible Chef and Salt Stack Some tools rely on a domain-specific language, DSL while others use a standard template format, such as YAML and JSON. Puppet uses domain-specific language which was designed to be accessible to sysadmins. The Puppet language does not require much formal programming experience and its syntax was inspired by the Nagios configuration file format. OK, so in this section we have learned about the infrastructure as code. 
I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have time feel free to move on to next lecture.